Alright guys, so in this video, I've got a really cool spy project for you guys. I'm going to be bringing another James Bond gadget into real life. So first, here's what we're actually replicating. Now you're going to need some very close uh, protection tonight in Tokyo because, uh, well that's when they'll try and get at you. You'll need the best man we've got. And uh, who do you suggest? Well. I'm afraid I have another appointment tonight, Mr. Fisher. I'm awfully sorry to leave you, but I have to get off. That is right, I'm going to be attempting to put an explosive charge into this ordinary tube of lipstick. Now I know like 90% of my channel's viewers are guys, um, so if you're one of those 10% who are girls, or if you're a guy who just likes to wear lipstick, this project's for you. And uh, for the rest of the viewers, hopefully you'll just appreciate this really cool spy gadget. Alright, let's get into this. Alright guys, so I've taken all the lipstick out, and my plan is to fill this up with pyrotechnic material um, and rig it so when I pull off the cap, uh, it will ignite and I can just drop it and uh, it'll go off just like it did in the movie. So I'll just be like, it'll ignite, I'll drop it, and there you go. So if we look at the actual movie clip, it looks like it's not just a smoke bomb, it looks like there's a little bit more fire involved. Um, so I think I'm going to use a combination of sparkler powder along with a little bit of black powder just to give it a little bit of that extra kick. And um, I'm also thinking of using a party popper as an ignition source um, and I can just attach it to the um, cap so when I pull it off it'll ignite it and then yeah we'll have a James Bond spy device.
All right guys, so this is just a quick rundown of how I made this. If we go ahead and open it up, you can see the string is glued inside the cap. Um, so when I pull it just a little bit more, this string will pull out the party popper and um, that will ignite the pyrotechnic composition inside this and uh, it'll make a huge cloud of smoke and fire. And it'll be really cool. And as you can see, when I put the cap back on, it just looks like a normal case of lipstick. So let's go try this out. All right guys, so there you go. There's how I made my super secret spy smoke grenade built into a container of lipstick. Um, so if you did like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and um, subscribe for some more cool videos like this. And uh, also drop your ideas of uh, cool stuff you want to see me make down in the description. As you can see, we completely fried this lipstick container. Um, I actually was able to get two uses out of it. I did two tests. Uh, personally, I think the second one worked better than the first, but uh, yeah, overall pretty successful project and uh, we were able to make another spy gadget. And now I'm left with a giant mess, which you guys can't see, but if I zoom out. Got all this stuff I gotta clean up. You guys are lucky you just get to watch. One of these videos I might just tack on like half an hour of me just cleaning. Um, yeah, probably not. But uh, anyway guys, that is all I've got for today. So I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.